Hey everyone, this is another Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be looking at a way to do some split toning in Capture One Black and White, other than the built-in tone. So, normally they've got the um, built-in toning and we can do our split toning that way. I've always found this interface to be a little bit kludgy with the hue, uh, hue sliders, not not really my favorite. Um, and the other thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have a balance slider, and that's one thing I really wish they'd put in there so that you could balance between highlight and shadow where it's toning. So let me turn this off and we'll take a look at another way to get that split tone look. To get this to work, you need to um, be using the Capture One 11 engine. Um, that's in the base characteristics tool. I have it in my custom toolbar here, but um, I'm not sure which one it's in by default. If you need to add it, you can go in, add tool, um, base characteristics, and add it to any of your toolbars. So let's, uh, for this, we're going to go over to the color tab and use the color balance tool. And now in this this version, um, the color balance will uh, will work on a black and white image. So if we wanted to do a do my favorite kind of split cyanotoning, sepia toning, we can do that here. And then we actually have a third col uh, third range to play with. So we. This would give you give you a little bit of an ability to get that balance by sending the midtones to either the shadow color or the highlight color, or maybe do something else entirely with it. With this, you've got the um, hue with this color wheel here, and then um, saturation with the slider on the side, just like if you were using it on a color image. The other interesting thing that this gives us is the ability to um, darken and lighten shadows with this, with the other control here. So that gives us a little bit more flexibility than the regular uh, split toning tool. You can play around with it, see if you get different results from them. Um, let me know what you think. If you know of any other tips, uh, shoot me a message in the comments or, or whatever. We'll try to, we can try to get those included. And if you give me a YouTube or other social handles, definitely give out credit. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep uh, tips and editing videos and other work coming out on a regular basis. Thanks everyone, have a good night.